Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Dallas. I want to thank you for being here as I talk to people across the nation. And I've got my first guest. And we're going to get started with Dr. Bob Arnett. Now, you know him uh, from TV. I know him as being a really smart doctor. And he's got a reality TV show, Dr. Danger. Dr. Arnett, welcome back to the Valder Beebe Show. Well, Val, wonderful to be back. And thanks so much for uh, donating those masks to local schools. Uh, you're really a tremendous example of, uh, you know, a host taking care of the community. It's a wonderful <laughs> example you said. Dr. Arnett, I really have to send my thanks out to you and to Air Queen because people are still coming up to me and say, I heard my kid got a mask at school and they got it from you. Some people can't afford masks. I, I don't know if we ever thought about that. And so that was such a, a benevolent act. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, well, I actually have, have now bought 1,500 of these for the local schools, and I have teachers coming up to me with tears in their eyes, you know, thank you, because they're very, very concerned, you know, with 150,000 cases a day now. You know, teachers are right there on the front line, and, and they're worried. Of course, their parents, like me, I have an eight-year-old in school, are quite concerned about it. You know, there actually are masks, I don't know, in front of the year for a uh, for, for kids, I, I, my, my son goes out and wears it all day long. He loves it. You know, he's quite confident it's going to work. And uh, so it's a good example. Great. It was a great gift. Thank you so very much. Can you tell me about talking about masks? Let's talk about some of the latest recommendations from the CDC to reduce the risk when traveling. Because, you know, everybody's trying to, tr not everybody, a lot of people are traveling. According to the airlines industry, they're booking 48% of their uh, capacity. That's a lot. It is, you know, and uh, you know, I feel terrible for the airline industry, which has suffered here, but it did a pretty good job. You know, there are very few infections that we know that have been reported. They have the HEPA filters in the airplanes, which uh, are able to filter out the virus, the high air exchange, especially in newer airliners like the 787. Your risk, of course, is getting to and from the airport and once you're at your destination. And Valda, the big thing I'm telling people during Thanksgiving is that it's the closed indoor space that is the real risk. And that's because we now believe this is an airborne virus that sits up in the air. And as it sits in the air, you know, you walk into a room where there's no circulation and, you know, you're, you're, you're a sitting duck. I've actually been out at schools measuring CO2 levels. And, you know, a lot of the classrooms are great. But we have a model we're trying to develop here, which is that your child is safer at school than they are at home. And oddly, it's true because I measured my own home where I am right now, and we have very high levels of CO2, meaning that you know it's very stagnant air because we don't have you know, ventilation systems in homes. We're trying to be fuel efficient, not you know spend a ton of money on it. So be careful of those closed indoor spaces. And, you know, and if you're going to wear a mask, wear it properly. I see people you know wearing masks uh, below their nose. It's the most likely place that you're going to spew virus out or get infected. So you want it over your nose. I see it, you know, off the chin. I see it down here. I see it over their forehead. When you do put the mask on, take a deep breath. It should stitch like that so that you know that it works. And actually, don't do what I've done. Don't put your hand down in front of your mask because the masks are trapping the virus. And so after you've used it, you know, you may actually... I want to use uh, one of these 75% ethanol spray there, Queen has. Spray that at the end of the day on the mask, and you can use it for a total of 10 days. So, you know, all the people who, who've been doubtful about masks, you know, the words out does actually work now. And there are great masks you can have confidence in. The head of the CDC, uh, you know, testified before Congress that the mask right now may be more effective than the vaccine, which could be for many of us six months away. So, it's a great call. Stay out of those closed indoor spaces. Get as much ventilation as you can at home and wear a, you know, a great mask uh, with pride. For the first time, I heard the CDC, I, I, I'm, I'm going to take a chance and say it was the CDC, that said that masks are protecting other people, but they're also protecting you. That's a big step to hear that. That's the first time I heard that. Well, it's interesting because I always thought it was a little bit of a fraud to say, you know, wear a mask and it's not good enough to protect you. It's going to protect people around you. 
And with a really crummy mask, I'm not sure it was protecting anybody. That single layer mask there, 5% protection, 3% of it was poorly fitted. And some of these masks, like the Gators, may actually be spewing virus out. So now that we understand that you know, a medical quality mask can make a really big difference, they're good recommendations. And yeah, you know, the the CDC, unfortunately, has really fallen on hard times because of all of the you know political misguidance that's made its way through there. But I've been impressed recently that the professional core of the CDC, which is the best in the world, has really stepped up and they are issuing recommendations that they now believe will protect the public. Dr. Arnott, I want to thank you for having a focus of keeping us safe with information that's credible and authentic. Online, is is there a place that people can go and find more information about you know, when to change their mask, when to wash their mask, because, I, you know, I saw some crummy masks at the store. Yeah. Well, so two things. First of all, the CDC I'm looking at right now has very good tips on wearing masks. That's a great site. The official airqueen.com site, put in uh, the word safe and you get a discount. Uh, I have now have bought, uh, I think, 2,000 masks from them, and uh, they're quite good in terms of getting right back to you if you have any concerns. Uh, very responsive, and uh, you know, I wear it with confidence. I was down in Boston the other day, you know, at, at uh, one of the big hospitals I'm working with down there, and you know, it was all throughout the hospital, the meetings and whatnot, and felt quite confident. Okay, we've got we've got a place for you to go online, airqueen.com, get masks, change those masks, and help make us all safe. Dr. Bob Arnett, I want to thank you for the work you're doing, and thank you for coming on the Belder BB Show with your Emmy Award winning self. Thank and thank you, you Valor, for keeping all of your your uh, wonderful listeners there and viewers so safe. Thank you so much, Dr. Barn Bob. Continue to do what you're doing. Oh, well, thank you so much. You too. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free purse-free, even belt-free, head on over to myphonepouch.com.